Once the Costa Concordia was refloated, the salvage team prepared for the next monumental phase, towing the vessel to the port of Genoa. A fleet of specially equipped tugboats, each chosen for its high towing capacity and reliability in rough seas, was assembled for the job. Engineers meticulously planned the tow, mapping out a precise route that accounted for tidal variations, weather conditions, and the ship's vulnerable structure. Constant communication between tug operators and the salvage command center ensured that the tension on the tow lines was maintained within strict limits to prevent further damage. Over the course of several days, the Concordia was slowly and carefully hauled from the treacherous waters off Gil Eo Island into the safer and more controlled environment of the Ligurian Sea. Upon reaching Genoa, the focus shifted to dismantling the vessel, a process that was as technically challenging as it was environmentally sensitive. The ship was moved to a dedicated dismantling yard, where teams of engineers and environmental specialists set to work. The operation began with the systematic removal of hazardous materials, including residual fuel, lubricants, and asbestos, all handled in strict compliance with European Union ship recycling guidelines.